to flu shot or not to flu shot? This is the question that I often get from clients. And I guess to be more modern, we would call it the flu vaccine now, since that's the terminology that's being used, unfortunately. Okay, so I'm gonna give you my perspective, my aggregate of all the information that I've studied over the last 30 years. Uh, keep in mind, a lot of my background is very Western medicine and also a lot of it is very Eastern. So I'm looking at things from the perspective of the medical system and their data reporting, as well as what we understand in more natural health science. So I'm gonna get into it all in just a moment. First, I'm gonna ask for you to please like and subscribe, support the channel and get more videos like this on holistic health and wellness. All right, so that said, let's first start by looking at how frequently people even get the flu. Before we can really talk about whether the shot is a good idea or a bad one, let's just look at what we're dealing with, okay? Adults usually get the flu every few years, sometimes two to three times a decade. It's usually what most of the science looks like. With children, it's more like every other year or so is generally what's reported. And in terms of severity, although it's a lot more lethal in much older populations like over age 65, in general, you're looking at about two deaths out of every 1 million, 1 million episodes of the flu. So just to put it all in perspective in terms of really broad range severity, uh, we could drill that down and go more nuanced, but for the purposes of this video, about two deaths out of every million. And again, adults get it two to three times a decade or so, children get it more like every other year. Okay, so that's what we're up against when we're talking about the flu in a more typical year. Now, the studies behind whether the flu shot is effective or not, it can't really determine whether that person getting the shot was going to get the flu in the first place. So we're comparing the general public who are not healthy to other people in the general public who are also not healthy. And I'm not saying this to be disparaging. I'm just saying it's not like we really have science that are studies that are looking at people who are getting astragalus every day and high doses of vitamin C and great hydration and who aren't drinking tap water and who aren't stressed out and who are getting the right exercise science and who are doing all the things necessary to build health and build immunity. That's not who we're studying. In every study here, what we're looking at is just are typical people with the flu shot doing better than typical people without? And in short, the short answer is according to those studies, which are supposed to be unbiased, but oftentimes that's that's really hard to say, that yes, we're seeing like a 30 to 60% more likelihood to get the flu in people who are not getting the flu jab. That's what the science does tend to report for the most part. Now, and again, of course, it's different from year to year and in different populations, et cetera. But in that neighborhood is, is pretty much what you see. Now, does that mean that I recommend the flu shot? No, because what we're, we're leaving out in this science is, like I said, the people who are really living well, okay? People who are getting deep sleep every night, people who are avoiding alcohol and cigarettes, people who are lean and healthy and they're not under muscled like most of the population and people who are getting the right supplements to correct their nutrition deficits. I can go on and on and on. There are so many metrics that I look at as a health coach and as a health scientist. And the general public isn't getting 90% or even 80% of those. They're getting like 5% if that. So to me, when you ask my opinion, the bottom line is that I'm not really concerned about the science that compares unhealthy people to more unhealthy people. And, oh, should, should we be taking this flu, this flu shot? What I'm concerned about is, well, how do people taking the flu shot do as compared to those who are really building health? Now, we don't have straightforward studies on that. But anecdotally speaking, in my 30 years as a health coach and personal trainer and, and being immersed in a lot of groups of people who really build health regularly, I can tell you that those of us who live pretty well, I mean, I, I can speak for myself, I haven't had the flu in over 15 years. And when I did have the flu last, which I think was 15, 16 years ago or so, uh, with the exception of COVID, I should tell you I did have COVID-19. But with that one exception, I have not had any sort of flu in over 15 years since I've taken on a very healthy, more natural lifestyle. Back when I was getting the flu every few years, I was living more like the general public. I was microwaving my food. I had all kinds of preservatives coming into me every day, et cetera, et cetera. Most of, most of my health was not as good as it, as it is today and as it has been. So 
again, that's anecdotal, but I think when you look at most people who live more naturally and who get the right exercise science, the right sleep science, the right hydration, and who are really doing things right every day, I think you generally find the same thing. People in my circles who I talk to who live well don't seem to get the flu. And if so, it's very rare and not very severe. So from my experience and from everything I've studied and read, I don't personally believe that the flu shot is the right idea. I think that if you're just putting your time and effort into building health, I think you do very, very well. And again, the chances of actually dying from flu are very small. So especially if you're under age 65. So that's my perspective. And that's where I come from on this belief, everybody. Uh, certainly, you're welcome to disagree. I'm not going to freak out if someone disagrees. I just suggest that uh, if you want to disagree in the comments, at least give me give me a strong argument as to why. Give me some real data points that are truly unbiased and that you feel make sense. So anyway, everybody, if you've gotten any any help out of this video, if you've enjoyed what I've had to say, please be sure to like and subscribe so you get more videos like this in the future. You can also get my help directly or that of another perfect personal trainer. Information's in the description and we can get you set up with a free consultation anytime. As always, I'm looking forward to your health and your wellness success.